Hi, and welcome back to our video tutorials on Video Studio X3. For the last few tutorials, we've been covering many of the new features in the entry level areas of Burn and Easy Edit. We're going to continue in that area and discuss organizing your photos, videos, and music while in these two applications. The organizers in both these applications are borrowed from Corel's entry level suite, Digital Studio, and are very similar to each other, but differ in their media editing capabilities. Media editing in these two apps is covered in another tutorial, Editing Media in Burn, and another one, Editing Media in Easy Edit. All right, let's get started, shall we? I've launched Video Studio X3, and as usual, we're taken here to the launcher, the pathway into any of the four applications we can use depending on our experience level or project requirements. Click on Burn or Easy Edit. I'm going to choose Burn. The starting point in Burn or Easy Edit is always here at the organizer. The place where we import and organize our media content, including photos, videos, and music. All right, you can view this area in several ways. Currently, this is the view of all the media I have being tracked in the folder view. By tracking, I mean those folders that I've set up to be watched. Let me show you. Notice there is no folder for my Hawaii pictures. Go to Import, My Computer. And you notice, yeah, here is my folder of my photographs from Hawaii, and correct, it is not checked, therefore it's not being watched and not being imported. If I check my Hawaii folder, click Start, it returns us back, and it creates a new one with all my Hawaii photos. It's just that simple. Now, with folders still selected and choosing just photos or music, I get to be limited in what I view. Going back to Photos, clicking any of the open folders, clicking the arrow key gives me a nice quick slideshow where I can set the duration, preview ahead, what have you. Albums is another key area to organize your stuff. Now, what's the difference between a library and an album? Well, albums are folders that you can pull in media from multiple folders. Say you have folders of different years of birthdays or Santa pictures from multiple Christmases and you want to pull them into one folder to create a special project. You can do that by creating an album and dragging and dropping media into your folder. Click the plus mark here. Let's have one for Jacqueline. Notice that's currently empty, but if I go back to my folders up here of my photos, I can go into multiple different locations and drag and drop photos into this album. Like so. And if I select the album, there are those photos. Now you notice back over here, photos are still in here. It doesn't actually move them, nor make copies of them, it just makes a reference to them. So I can do this as many times as I want to without using up additional hard drive space. Now it's much easier to drag this content here and drag it down to a media tray once I have them all in one location. Another similarity between the organizers in Burn and Easy Edit is the projects. Whatever I create under my Create tab at the top will also get stored here for easy access and reuse. At the top, the only area that really differs between Burn and Easy Edit is under the Create tab. Burn here has video disk, backup disk, and an audio disk. Now let me jump over to Easy Edit real quick. So you'll see everything is the same here, except again for under Create where all I have is a movie choice. But I don't have a choices for backup or an audio disk. Well, I hope this helps. The best way to learn Video Studio, besides my super awesome video tutorials, of course, is jump into it and try it for yourself. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in another Video Studio tutorial.